Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today is all about 3D printer maintenance. Owning a 3D printer, half the hobby's 3D printing, and the other half, let's just be honest, it's working on the freaking 3D printer. You, you can't get around it. And today, I am going to be working on my Ender 3 Pro. I wanted to go ahead and upgrade to a dual gear extruder because I've heard great things about them and it's a solid aluminum body. So what I'm gonna do here is go through the processes of what I do to change this out. So let's go ahead and get to the replacement of this extruder gear. So this is my Ender 3 Pro. This is actually one of my oldest Ender 3 Pros that I have updated almost everything over time. The only thing I've never updated is the extruder gear. It's actually got a little bit of a crack in one spot and I've also been experiencing quite a bit of extrusion issues with it, which makes me believe this thing needs replaced. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to upgrade this to a dual gear extruder to be able to get that extra grip and I won't have any more of these issues anymore. So I'm upgrading to this dual gear all aluminum extruder, unlike the plastic one I have right here. And the nice thing about the dual gear is it actually grips the filament on each side. And the stock version only grips the filament on one side and then just presses up against a bearing. My hopes is once I upgrade to this, it's going to be a lot better and I'm never going to experience any more extrusion issues again because of this dual gear. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and the first thing I've gotta do is rip this off. So I'm gonna disconnect my Bowden tube and then I am going to start removing these bolts. So the first thing is I gotta take off the Bowden tube, then unscrew the coupling on the extruder gear. And I was also just checking to see if the coupling is still good, which it is, so I'm gonna save that. Then it's just disassemble. I'm taking off the screw to get the spring off. Next is removing the toothed gear that actually grips the filament. And it's got two little screws that you have to loosen before it slides right off. Then I'm taking the bolts off one at a time. All right, so the important thing is, is you wanna hold the motor when you get the last bolt out because that is what's holding it there. So we can just set that down to the side. Okay, so I know that this is going to go on here like that. And what I'm gonna do is get my first screw ready and just get that in there, have this ready. Now I'm just going to Place it where it goes. I've also cleaned this all up, gotten any of the debris out of it and cleaned it real good. And now I'm just gonna bring this up and get it started. Then I'm gonna get this one on the opposite side. Now I'm gonna snug that down and then snug this one down. Okay, now the next one. Okay, so this has the gear part, then it has this little pin and this long bolt. And all I do is push that through there and then push this in here so it actually can give it a good hinge. And then this is going to go right over top of that. Okay, so now I just gotta put this over the axle and line this up with the other gear. Then I tighten the screw to the axle using the Allen key. Okay, so this screw is gonna go in right here. Kinda gotta go through the hole. Now I gotta compress this spring. 
got to put this little metal piece in there. And compress that down. And then take this last bolt. Then throw it on the bed. There we go. Now the last thing is the Bowden tube. I have to install that right on the side right here. Get my wrench. Give that a good snug. And then hold this down while it goes in. All the way back until it hits. There we go. That is how we install this. So the last thing I actually have to do before I run this is I'm actually going to have to check my E-steps on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another video about that because it, I've got a super easy way on how to check your E-steps to make sure you're getting the right amount of extrusion. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to just let me know. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day.